G'day cobbers, welcome back to the bush. In this video we're going to have a look at plug repairs on tyres. Done while your tyres still mounted the car, but this one's inflated so we're going to have to do something about that. And we'll let it deflate. Now if you haven't identified where your puncture actually is, you might have to put a bit of air in and go around with a bit of soapy water and find out where it's leaking. But obviously we put a drill in it, so we know where it is. Once you pull it out, grab a pen and mark it. This is a marking pen. Comes with a puncture repair kit with the patches. All right, so let's have a bit more of a comprehensive look at the kit. Now, on this side we have the reamer, and that's got a helical grind in it. So it works kind of like a drill. So that will help draw out whatever's in the tire. Let's say a piece of woodwind in the tire. It'll draw out those little pieces of wood as best it can. And we have lubricant, which is very important to try and get the sticky string in. And we have the insertion tool with the collar. So the insertion tool has a hole up top, and that's where you put the sticky string. And they're not the best tire gauges, but they'll certainly do in a pinch. An Allen key here. Now that Allen key is here to take out and put back in the reamer and the insertion tool. A pair of pliers, and that's to put the sticky string through, which we'll show in a second through the eye of the needle here. And we have a little razor blade here. And that's to cut off the excess sticky string. Now in this little box of tricks down here, a few little bits and pieces. There are a couple of valve stems which we'll show you how to insert in a later video. I have a couple of plastic valve caps. I tend not to use the plastic valve caps. If you don't put the Schrader valve back in, especially if you're using a deflator, a rapid deflator, which will take out the Schrader valve, they tend to leak through. And if you have a look in the end of one of the steel ones here, they actually have a washer, which is a great thing. And you also have a little tool here, and that is, to get the Schrader valve in and out on that end. And this is for pulling through new Schrader valves, new tie valves. And we, of course we have a few Schrader valves. And those are kids, when the next time you're changing the bike tube tire on, on your son's BMX or your daughter's BMX, grab the Schrader valves out. Especially, <laughs> they seem to fly out at about 150 mile an hour and you'll never see them again, especially if you're on the beach or somewhere. So collect all those ones and put them in there. So you grab your reamer and you're pushing it in between the reinforcing in the tire. So it'll get a clear path from the outside of the tire to the inside of the tire. Right, so we pull the sticky string through halfway through, thread it through the eye of the needle, uh, and now we can stick it in. Right, now after a little bit of jiggling around and putting the reamer back in, we've finally got the sticky string sticking back in. And we're sticking out, as you can see there, probably about half an inch or about 10 mil. So now we just push down the collar and we pull out the insertion tool. There we go. And we've got these little bits of sticky string sticking out. Now some people like to leave that there, but, and just wear off naturally, but I don't. So grab your pliers, hold the end of them, and just cut them flush. Right now it's all over bar the shouting, so what we have to do now is reinflate the tyre and check that it's not leaking, so we'll do that now. Right, so we've pumped back up to Maddie's road going pressure, which is 45 psi, and we've checked the valve isn't leaking, so what we need now to do is a bit of soapy water. Now, failing this, if you don't have soapy water on you, of course, a little bit of spit will do. And we're checking for bubbles. And that looks good. Now, this is only a temporary repair. This is a repair to get you out of where you are until you can get to a tire repair place, which can do a proper repair. So usually a mushroom plug repair on, a, on the inside of a tire like this, which we'll be showing you in a later video. While plug repairs seem to be durable, I'd tend to put the tire that's repaired onto the back of the vehicle 
so it doesn't cause any issues up the front. Now guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it the old thumbs up. And if you didn't, by all means, give it a thumbs down twice. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one. Hey coppers, welcome back to the bush. In this video, we're gonna do a plug repair on a tire. But this one's inflated, so we're gonna to have to fix that. Ha, ha, ha.